Hi. If someone comes to you and out of the blue sign a check for you of $10,000 and said, I just want to give it to you. Don't ask me any explanation. How do you answer? What's your reaction? Now, you have terminal cancer or another terrible disease or someone with a super gift heals you completely on behalf of Christ. What would be your attitude toward that person? Just say, oh, fine, I'm healed, bye. Are you not going to be grateful to that person for the rest of your life? Are you not going to be grateful to God for the rest of your life and change your prayer life quite a bit around saying now I need to put much more gratitude in my prayer because God has done that for me. Now, in the Gospel, we have 10 lepers, they are all healed, only one comes back and he's a foreigner. Jesus is sad. He expressed his amazement. There is only one foreigner to come back? Well, what about the nine others? So you see, if we translate at the mystical level, who are the 10 lepers? Maybe humanity if we read it at a symbolic meaning. Who is the only one who comes to come back? Maybe 10% of humanity, those who have heard about Christ, come to say thank you to God. And all their life, they thank God. Because what did Jesus do? He didn't give us $100,000. Jesus incarnated, spent 33 years on earth, died for us, he didn't have to, and gave us to finish with, two huge gifts called the Holy Sacrament of the Eucharist, His presence, and at the moment of dying, His mother to be our spiritual guide. Question, on today, Sunday, October 13, where Our Lady appeared in Fatima a last time, saying, I am Our Lady of the Rosary. Don't you think we should be very grateful to God for having given us his mother, not only at the cross, but repeatedly, according to all the apparitions we know at the surface of planet Earth. Are we thankful to God? So please, this Sunday, let's review a little bit what is the place of our thanksgiving attitude in our prayer life. And God will be pleased.